Hey everybody, my name is Julie Matheny. I'm a speech therapist and IBCLC lactation consultant, and I want to remind you that when we are talking about plug ducts and mastitis, we do not want to be aggressive. Well, there's all these old protocols for mastitis and plug ducts that used to say use heat and be aggressive with your massage to get that plug out. I used to say that years ago too, but when we know better, we do better. If you have a plug duct or mastitis, that is being caused by inflammation. There is no muscle in the breast, so we do not want to be aggressively massaging anything because we're not trying to massage muscle. There's breast tissue, there's fat tissue, there's milk making tissue, and there's a glandular system, a ductal system that is like straws that move your milk from where it's made in these little sacks, milk making sacks, down to your nipple at the front. So this holiday season or any season, if you're getting plug ducts and mastitis, it's being caused by inflammation. Inflammation is pressure around the milk ducts that can be caused by going too long between breastfeeding or pumping. It can be caused by a tight restricted bra. It can be caused by laying in a bad position or having the weight of the baby on your body. If you have breast implants, it does make you more susceptible to plugs and mastitis because the breast, uh, the fluid inside the breast can go back and forth. So there's fluid, there's lymph system in the breast, and there's milk. Milk can come out, but milk and lymph can also be reabsorbed through your body. So if you have an implant, it can be harder for things to move around, that fluid to move in the body. Uh, plug ducts and mastitis can be caused by the wrong size pump flange or putting the suction on that pump too high. Don't suck your brains out your nipples. It can be caused by an inefficient pump or poor quality pump. Wrong size flanges are the biggest reason that I see um, plug ducts and mastitis. Too big of a flange with too high of suction that collapses the milk ducts. It doesn't let milk move efficiently. So find the root of your plug duct and mastitis, but if you get inflammation in the breast, your first step is ice. Gentle massage and keeping to your normal routine, okay? So with your breast, gentle massage, Maya Bowman, an amazing IBCLC, coined breast gymnastics. And it's basically taking the breast tissue and lifting it straight up, letting it go down, moving it gently side to side, and around in circles very slowly to get fluid moving in the breast, to get the process started of pulling inflammation off of the breast, being very gentle in that. Using gentle hand expression can also help that milk flow. We're trying not to collapse your milk ducts. We are trying to keep milk moving through while reducing inflammation. Some people will take ibuprofen to also help reduce that inflammation. So if you get a plug duct or mastitis, figure out why it's happening. It should not be recurrent. Get to the root of it. And if you do have that happening, it's inflammation in the breast. So we want to bring down inflammation. Ice, very gentle breast gymnastics and breast massage and gently moving milk through the system to keep the breast happy. Now you know.